What is going on YouTube? This is the Black Prodigy coming at y'all with another Dragon Ball Z Universe 2 video. And today we're going to be going over my Namekians. It could, I, I guess you could say it's like a melee build. It's mostly a melee build. But I typically use strike moves on this character. For obvious reasons. So, let's get right to it and go over the attribute points of this build. Alright, so first we have... 125 points of max health, 0 in max key, 84 points of max stamina, 125 points in basic attacks, 4 points in strike supers, and 0 points in key blast supers. Now, the reason why I put 125 max health is because Namekians have a passive where their health is larger than most other races, such as Saiyans, fucking um, Frieza's, and yeah. That's where they shine the most, my nigga. Max key, they got zero points in that. It's because you already have five bars of key by default. And with my build, you're going to see me have no more than seven bars of key. Because I use QQ bangs to make up for it. But for this particular case, I'm probably going to be rocking with five bars of key. Now, I put 84 points in max stand them because... Since one bar is 42 points, I basically doubled up on that to give me two bars, nigga. So that's two bars of stamina. And now if you add the QQ Bang, the plus three QQ Bang that I have, that's about one and a half bars of stamina. So add the one and a half plus the two bars and the uh, five bars you already start out with. That's eight and a half bars of stamina, my nigga. So yeah, I feel, I feel comfortable rocking with Eight or more bars of stamina from my Namekian nigga. Unless you try to use giant form, you would not have to max out your stamina, but that's not what this build is gonna be for, nigga. Especially since giant form is garbage as fuck now, bro. Like, I wouldn't really waste my time with it unless you're playing some whack ass niggas. Alright, I put 125 points in the basic attacks because since Namekians have low damage, you gotta do your best to, like, max out that damage so you can have a fighting chance of winning with this build, bro. So it pretty much evens out the field, my nigga. For strike supers, I put four points because like, I had leftover. And plus, those are the moves I normally use anyway, so I was just like, fuck it, let me put it into this. For key blast supers, I don't really use them. I prefer strike supers, to be very honest, since they're way easier to connect than key blast supers. So, yeah, that's that, bro. Now let's move on to the equipment. And for the QQ Bang, I use a level 2 QQ Bang that gives me plus 3 stamina and plus 1 basic attack. Now, I did this I did this because I don't want any negatives in this build. The 3 arrows give him about 1.5 bars of stamina on top of the 7 bars I have already with the 84 points in stamina. So that's good. We want to be at 8, somewhere around there. And for basic attack, we can get that extra boost, which helps us deal out even more damage than what we're already doing. So I like, I fucks with that, I like that. Now the super soul I'm using is... <laughs> my phone, my nigga. It's springtime and my allergies acting up and shit, so you might be hearing some of this during my commentary. So if you have a problem with this, suck my dick. Alright, now the reason why we're using <laughs> is because with the awoken skill and the reinforcement skill, it freaking um, puts everybody in their money and auto health recovery now i know some of y'all niggas is like bro 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 why don't you just use i must protect grand elder well the reason for that is because this one only helps you nigga this super soul right here this super soul helps everybody in their money nigga so if you're doing a 3v3 it's gonna heal a nigga if you're doing a one-on-one -on -one, it's gonna heal you nigga and plus it shortens revive time so it's really nice all you gotta do is have an awoken skill like potential unleash or Kaioken, and have a reinforcement skill like, um, what you call it, prepare to be punished, or fighting sun. And that's why I put fighting sun in potential unleash. So if you're in a battle and you're getting low on health, you can hit that auto recovery on top of the Namekian's passive that makes them recover health when they're like 25% over low. So this is perfect. It works out. Now, for super attacks, I put super godfist, get quick damage, super mad dance, because it deals a lot of damage, and it's a wavy-ass move. Punisher drive, because it fits the theme of PyCon, my nigga. You get those 
lightning fast hits him and fighting sun because it's quick to get off and um it shows like a fiery aura that comes out of you when you unleash the move and if it's a demon pycom because in the show he was like a fast ass fucking phoenix looking nigga like all of his attacks have to do with fire and shit that's why i put burning spin nigga this attack's not that great because it got nerfed but it's it deals some decent damage and just in case this move doesn't work out, I use Justice Combination because it's like that safety ultimate that you want to use in a fight in case things aren't going that well. As long as you don't spam it. Potential Unleash is good because it gives you a 15% increase in everything. So whether or not you put points in your Strike Supers, you're going to be dealing slightly more damage. That's going to be enough to help you win a fight. And Dragon Burn because if it's the theme, nigga, like that nigga on fire when you end up... When you guys, when, when you're caught in the combo, that's what I'm trying to say. Fuck. All right. So now that I've gone over the skill sets, let's check it out in a damage demonstration inside the training mode, nigga. We got the new bitch. Now, just to remind y'all, these attacks don't do a lot of damage because I don't have enough from strike supers, but there's no negative, so it should still do. It should still deal some decent amount of damage. Alright, so let's test them out in base form. Super Godfist deals about 2,000. Super Mad Dance also does about 2,000, I believe. Punisher Drive deals about 1,600, so that's around 2,000 as well. And Justice Combination deals about 5,000 damage. 5,500 to be a little bit more precise. Burning Spin doesn't do a lot of damage because I suck ass with it, my nigga, but if you're good with it, then you should be able to deal some decent damage. Oh, and plus, since I wasn't keeping him inside a continuous combo with the hits, it didn't really scan all the damage output that I put on this nigga, so it capped it at about 1,131. Now let's try Potential Unleashed. Ooh, ooh. This move does about almost 3,000. Super Godfist does about 2,000. Punisher Drive deals about 1,700, so it's pretty close. And yeah, my nigga. Justice Combination deals total damage of 6,400, 500, if you want to round it all. And Burning Spin? Nigga, let's not even talk about this. And as you can see, I activated the Super Soul by using an Awoken skill along with Fighting Sun, and that's pretty much how you activate it. Now let's see how this build plays out in actual battle. feel bad for that nigga <laughs> if you found this video helpful feel free to like comment and subscribe for more content from the black prodigy and i'll catch y'all later